So today guys I'm doing collection and if you like the way this look turned out then keep watching. I'm low key annoyed because this is the first time I've had to record this video now so it's not a first impression which is another good thing because then I can say how I think about these products. So let's just get started. Concealer. I love the concealer, it covers, it's very close to the MUA one I would say. Yeah, it covers, you can't even see my spot anymore. Foundation, I'm not a fan of it. It is medium coverage, but it's really weird. It looks like a highlighter, because it's so glittery. On the face though, it's matte. You don't get any dewiness, whatever. So it's really weird how there's a lot of, there's like sparkles in this foundation. And this foundation looks pink. When you put it on, it matches. I'm so confused about this. And I would normally go, for like a proper foundation, this seems like the packaging, it seems like a beanie queen to me, but you know, it works. It's giving me amazing coverage, so this would be good for setting to wear for school or something. I'm not really feeling this, I don't think I'd repurchase it or even wear it as an everyday foundation. Next, face. So I got, I think it was cheaper to do it this way. So I got a highlight blush and bronze duo. It's pretty good. The pink you could actually use a highlight because it's sparkly. And this pink is so light, I would never ever wear it as a blush on its own. I like really dark, like, I only wear red blushes, so this is just not for me. But I was so amazed by that highlight, like, that's amazing pigment. The nice champagne y, goldy type. Colour, I like it it's white and I am only really into white highlights. The contour is quite good. It'd be a good all over bronzer. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. This is something I'd probably repurchase again, but none of these things in collection is something that I thought I need. Honestly, I'd rather just buy from MUA than here. I like a lot better things in MUA. Next powder. It, it has a lot of like kickback, you can see the pan, but I mean, it does the job, it may be matte, matter than what I was, it, set, it, it sets, it sets the black like, foundation and everything. Next is brows, okay so it, it fills in the hairs, it makes it natural, it does for me, it, it's a little bit light for me to use a tail because you can actually see if you look closely, tail drawn. Um, I'm not really a fan of it. I just don't like gels in general. I only like pencils because pencils is way quicker to put on. But for gel, I do use gel sometimes, hardly ever. But then again, another thing is this only comes by itself. I hate keep referring MUA. I feel like I should just be like an ambassador for them or something because I love their brand so much. Because their brow gel, it comes in like a little pot like this, but it has like a little chew thing, and then on top it has its brush sit in it. This only comes by itself, so I have to find myself a spoolie and a brush. So it's a bit annoying because they're doing they're probably around the same price so, and it's I think it suits my like the colour of my brows better so wouldn't repurchase this I think it's a bit of a nightmare honestly especially if you was going away you'd want a brow pomade to have everything in one instead of having to bring little extras next eyeliner throwing away there I'm going to give the eyeliner a try the thing is, I used to use this eyeliner years of, like, back, way, way back, and I hated it. That's the reason I bought the exact same eyeliner, because I wanted to, I mean, it's been years, so the formulation could be different. The only way you can really test eyeliners is when they start drying out, and that's when they show the true form. So I'll give this more of a go, but so far I like it. It's pigmented, you can't see the skin, it's easy to draw a wing and everything. Today it went a mess. It totally flopped, it went really thick, and let's not talk about that. Okay, next, let's go to mascara. This is, <laughs> I've got something to say about this mascara. 
First of all, this is so fat. You know he's had drugstore mascaras are really fat and then the higher like up you go, they become really thin. Like, look at the size of that wand, oh my god. I have a problem with this mascara in the fact that the whole layer is so big you can see inside it. And if you actually look closely, half of it is it's like a crisp packet, half of it is like full and the rest is just like air. Now all the black stuff of the mascara is literally at the bottom. You can see the size of the top here is just the pink inside packaging. Like, it's like that much. So it's a bit of a rip off to make, give you like this massive tube when really half the package like is at the bottom. This sort of mascara doesn't really do much for me. It claims it volumizes 10 times extra volume. Well, no it doesn't. It gives you volume but just like every other volumizing mascara it doesn't really do that much for it. It does make it separated so it looks very nice. It's not clumpy looking. It's very separated and defined. It does look good but I mean it's not something I'd need to repurchase again. Well I've got other volumizing ones that are way thinner. This takes up so much room in your like storage. Eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is good. It's very glittery. I've got the nude rose one. They have a, just a nude one. In this, every single shade is the shimmer. So it's a bit annoying if you want to like take this away or whatever or make a look. Because not meant. I'd put one on my lid and one in my crease, but I know not everyone's going to want to have shimmer in their crease. And it does look a bit tiny, bit dodgy, not going to lie. But the colours are good. They're not wow amazing, you're going to need them in your collection. But if someone gifts it to you, it's, it's pretty. Especially if you put normal matte eyeshadow and you want to make it look like wow. Put in these dark. Now say you put a light eyeshadow and you put the light glitter, it'll just give it a look. Same with the dark. Put the dark over dark eyeshadow. It just gives it to life, but it's not saying. I'm not really a fan of it. Lip gloss. My lip gloss with popping. I'm not a fan of lip glosses. But they did not have a liquid lip. To be fair, this is a um, really goopy and I like the wand, it's like a flame shape and it bends so you can get in wherever you want. You do have to do, you don't really have to do that much of a layer to get the pigment. That first swipe you're good but I like that full pigment so I did like two. This is in Sparkling Lights. I think down below I'll write like, the colours and everything that I've got. The lip gloss ain't bad, but because I don't like lip gloss, the colour's great. It's a very, it's a pink, it's more on the pinky side, but I think on camera it looks more the red side. It's like in between, it'd be a good everyday, like going to school. Obviously, not to school, after school, because you can't wear makeup in school. But it's like a very good everyday go to college, go to work type lip and it does last all day I've worn this, I've eaten and all that and it's just literally stayed on the whole like time so this is very it's a very good lip gloss if you want it to stay on all day ok guys so now that's the end of the video I don't feel like I was like shitting on collection but the line is just not something you need in your collection it's, it's nothing amazing you can find better eyeliners. I mean, everyone raves about Kat Von D. I'm still yet like testing it out to see if I like it better than drugstores. But yeah, it's better foundations. It's better contour, highlights, concealers. So this brand is not something I would go out and just repurchase again. Or if I if I ran out, I feel like, I feel like I would need it. Apart from the this is rave because it's because the proof is in the pudding, it's good. Apart from the concealer, I just don't see myself ever buying from collection again. That wraps it up, that is everything in this video. I feel like once I have 10 
one brand videos I'm gonna do like I'm gonna somehow have to manage to rate the brand on an overall rating and then do like a 1 to 10 so like every rate will probably be number one but then do like sleek overall like just to see which brands I find out of the whole drugstore is the best but yes I'm kind of I'm really annoyed because my reactions are not the same like when I did the highlight I was like oh my god wow when I first had it on but after the third video I'm kind of like over it or well, over making this video I'm not over the product because the highlight's still popping though but at least now I've got more of a chance of a review and testing the products out and knowing the last stability it does last all day so especially especially for school if you're going for a natural look like the foundation the concealer and maybe mascara you're set for the whole day you probably won't need to touch up depending on your skin type okay so I feel like I'm rambling on now so hope you guys liked it comment down your favorite collection products which would you like you don't like do you want to try any let me know and until then i'll see you guys next time